Hey, Mike here with Mike's Bags, and today I'm reviewing the Lima by WTF Cornhole. We'll go ahead and jump in the design right away here. This is this is an amazing design. I absolutely love the way this bag looks. One of the few bags that I bought just solely on the way it looked. The Lima is one of the newer models by WTF. It hasn't been out for very long. When I saw the release, I was intrigued by the bag, but I knew nothing about it. When I saw the pictures of the bag, I knew I had to have them. I, I just I, I eventually wanted to get this bag to review, saw the design, and I jumped all over it. I love the colors, the way they pop. I like the monotone WTF. Same design. They just kind of took the color out here, really stands out. Same on the back where it has the Make Them Say, the WTF slogan there, the monotone there with the colors. Absolutely love the way it looks. A 10 out of 10 on design for this bag. Uh, one thing while I'm here is the, I'll mention, I don't know if I mentioned it before when I did the Tango review for WTF, but the, the seams and the closing stitches by WTF are probably the best in the business. They use like a, I call it an embroidery stitch. It looks like when you have an image or something embroidered on a shirt, on a shirt or a hat, it has that same stitching, just a ton of thread across there. You can kind of see on the seam here that that neon green chartreuse color, and it goes all the way around. They use, actually use this in a lot of their bags. It's just a, an accent color. Like they're not trying to hide that. They, they take a color that stands out, so you can see it, and for good reason. It, it, it looks like it looks like high quality in my in my mind. I don't know a lot about sewing and stitching the bags. To me, it looks like a high quality stitch, so I'm I'm impressed by it. They even do this top the the, the closing seam on the top as well. They do that embroidery like stitch as well. So I can't imagine a seam or a, a closing seam or one of these seams ever coming loose. Uh, on a WTF bag. If they do, I imagine that's probably pretty rare. Material-wise, the slow side on this bag is the same, I'm, well, I'm 99% sure it's the same material that Corner Graphics use on their Sutra bag. I just reviewed that not too long ago. If you haven't seen that review, this material is very similar to the Surefire Slow Side. That, that's the best material I can compare it to if you're, um, if, you have, if you're not familiar with the Sutra or the Lima here. There are a few other bags that use this material. I just, from the top of my head, I can't, I can't think of them right, right, right off the top of my head here. But it, it, it feels a lot like that Surefire Slow Side. It plays a lot like that Surefire Slow Side. I will say WTF does mention on their website that this material doesn't slow down in humidity, which if that's the case, that definitely gives this a, a, a leg up on that Surefire Slow Side material. Because that that, that surefire, wonderful in dry conditions. When it starts getting humid and damp, and the board starts get a little bit of moisture on there, that material just just soaks up that moisture and just comes to a dead stop, and it's just unplayable. If this doesn't do that, and it's still playable, then it makes this bag or this material a little better than that. But. For comparisons, think of that Surefire Slow Side when I talk about the Slow Side material. Uh, when you get this bag, this material is crazy fast. It just, it plays fast. It takes a lot longer than that Surefire material does. It, it, it reminds me a lot of the carpet bag and the fact that it takes a while to really break this material in to soften it up. It almost starts to fuzz a little bit and then it finally starts slowing down. So give this, if you ever buy a set of bags, give this bag a lot of time to break in. Don't judge it. When you first get it, start throwing it. You got you got to put some time in to get this bag to break in, this material to break in to really play like it should. But once it breaks down, it plays like a five, in my opinion. Um, I think WTF gives it a six rating, so a five to six on its slow side, fast side. This is also a, uh, a not as popular material. I'm starting to see more and more material out here. Uh, 710 uses the material on several of their bags. I know the Route 69 uses it and the Vandal uses it on the, on the fast side of both those bags. Crazy 8 uses it on the fast side of their irate bag. To me, it's a it's a nine speed material. I believe WTF called it an eight. So WTF calls this a six eight. To me, it's a five nine. So somewhere in that range, five to six slow, eight to nine fast. It's really a bag that you would compare speed wise to like a Costello, a Deadhead, a Surefire, a Pro Sniper, kind of along that range. So if you kind of if you like that mid speed slow side with the fast fast side, that's what you've got here in this bag. Template wise, this is. Pretty much a middle of the road. It's, it's really that six by six, kind of right down the middle sweet spot template. Not too big, not too small. Fill wise, um, it, when it's sitting there, it doesn't look like a really full bag, but it's definitely not fly. It's not, in fact, there's very little flop to this bag. I, I, I had this bag for a while and I threw it and threw it and threw it, really expecting it to start flopping up and it never really flopped up like I wanted to. So this bag doesn't get that floppy. If you don't like a floppy bag, you might want to check the Lima out. If you do like a floppier bag, you might want to check on something else. Uh, fill wise, it has this small disc fill in here. I don't think it's a blended fill. I think it's 100% small disc. I, if there is a blend, it's mostly the disc. I will say this fill reminds me a lot of the Reynolds Fracture fill, the way that it feels in the bag. And if you watch that review, you know it didn't really like the fill that much. And I will say the, the fill in this bag is probably the, the first thing that stood out to me that, that I, that I kind of didn't like the way, that, the way it felt inside this bag, the way it matched with the materials. And one of the reasons why is when you get this really small, fine fill, when I go to do my butterfly grip, 
it, it compress it doesn't spread it compresses so it squeezes down and you can see there's a lot of loose area here and i've really got to shake 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 to fill that material up and i felt like every time i was picking a bag up and squeezing it i, I felt like i was just i just couldn't get the the grip the feel i want i'm used to a bag like you take here the, the Strix, I just did a review on it recently on this bag. You take this bag, as soon as I grab it and squeeze it, that fill just fills up immediately because this fill is very fluid. It just spread, it doesn't compress as much as it spreads out and fills this bag up. So when I grab this bag and, and do that, I don't want to shake it. It's already pretty much locked in place. When I grab this bag and squeeze it, it's not locked in, right? It's I've got to shake it. It's really hard to get that to fill in. That's where I want it, right there. It's locked in. The fill's filled up. I got the bag locked in place. But I felt like I was just struggling with that, with this bag constantly. So I just never really got the confidence in the hand feel that I wanted with this bag, that I thought I should have with this bag. And that may have affected the way that, that the bag played for me. I don't know. I just, I never felt confident throwing this bag. And I think it all starts with the hand feel, right? I, to me, the hand feel is, is, I don't know if it's the most important thing, but it's its one of the most important things for me in a bag is I want a bag that feels good in my hand because if it doesn't feel good, then in my mind, I'm constantly thinking about the bag and trying to get the right grip I want. And I'm not focusing on the throw or the, the situation or whatever you need to focus on. I'm focusing on the back of my hand and I shouldn't do that. So I, that's something to think about. If hand feels important to you, this may not be the option or the bag for you. Now, we're going to play ability here while I'm talking about this. And this is a bag that's really, you can do a lot with it as far as the speeds. You can you can throw blockers with it and it doesn't, because it's a fuller bag, you know, it's really easy to collect. It doesn't take much. It's going to spin. It's going to collect. So I had no problems throwing blockers with this bag. Um, it's also a fine bag for running the hole. The The issue I had with this bag, and, and, and it's one reason why I delayed so long doing the review is, because it's not a floppy bag, what I found was if this bag wasn't, if I didn't throw it perfectly, it, it, and, and hear me out, this is, if I threw the bag correctly, the bag was going in the hole, right? The bag was, if I threw it the right way, it was going to do what I did. Not a lot of kick to it. It didn't really punish me very much, even if I was a little off on my, on my bag being flat or not. The problem I had is when I was a little off left, a little off right, it wasn't as forgiving as I think a faster bag should be or a bag of this caliber. Because when it went by the hole, I, it didn't really want to, to drop. That corner didn't want to drop it and grab the hole as much as it wanted to just kind of scoot across the top. Or if it would kind of catch a little bit and spin, but it, it went too far off the back that I just couldn't grab it. And I just felt like I was constantly being forced to throw a perfect shot every time. And that that when you start throwing bags and you know every shot's gotta be perfect, and and one, I'm already worried about the grip of the bag and I'm constantly thinking about the grip, and then I've gotta take some of my, my focus off of my throw, off of the board focus here. So now I'm not as accurate up there. And when I'm not as accurate up there, this bag is just not helping me out any. And then I don't wanna say the bag is punishing me, but you know, if you go back and watch Watch that, go back and watch that B3 Ranger bag review I did where that, that bag, no matter where I put it on the board, it seemed like it wanted to just find the hole, grab the hole and go in. Same like like the Titan Devastator reviewed recently or a Pro Sniper. You know, you watch those reviews and those bags, even when I'm off, the bag is still trying to grab the hole and go in. In this case, when I'm off, this bag is not really grabbing that hole. It's doing what I tell it to do. It's going where I'm putting it on the board, but it's just not helping me in any way whatsoever and that's where I, I think it goes back to this fill I, I, I actually like these materials I like the material combination I really wish WTF would would try a different fill in here maybe a little more of a blended fill maybe even I think it needs more beads maybe even less fill make it a little bit of a floppier bag I, I don't know either a floppier bag maybe just a touch larger tempo something like that. I think it, it just needs more given the bag to grab that hole and go in and, and i'm not going to blame the materials because the, the the chronographic sutra uses this slow side material and actually uses a little bit slower fast side and that bag did a great job of grabbing the hole so i don't think it's the materials i, I really feel like it's the fill and, and i don't, I don't want to knock the bag because again if i threw the bag right it went in the hole the problem was is none of us are perfect every time right and we all want a bag that that is forgiving and hole friendly and that's not what this bag is. Like it's it's not gonna reward you. It's not gonna forgive you. It's not gonna cover up your mistakes. If you're off, this bag is going off, right? It's just it's just not it's not what I want it to be, right? There are other there are other bags out there that do what this do and do it better. I do think there's hope for this bag. I, I just I really wish they would try a different fill. I I don't like the fill compared to I don't like the combination of the fill with these materials in this bag. The way the bag's set up and everything, it's just it just doesn't play well. You can see in these videos. 
a lot of these bags were, were missing the hole, going off the side, going off the side, they were flying off the back. Um, I was having a hard time, even when they were hanging there, a lot of times I was having a hard time collecting them because they just don't want to sit in the hole real well. Right? And, and so it made it tougher to collect bags. I felt like I had to get more aggressive. So when a bag was hanging out on the side, I had to come more at it and try to collect it and clip it. And when I did that, then the bags, because they're a little bit fuller, they would they would hit and bunch and clog up. And then I couldn't get them in the hole. Again, clogging up the hole is not a bad thing if you're heading around, but when you're trying to collect a bag, you know, say it's, say it's my fourth bag, opponent's got four in, I need to collect this bag and this bag to get a wash, and I bunch up, now I've lost four points there. It, and it got to a point where I didn't want to go after those bags hanging because I was afraid I was going to penalize myself more than just put this in, take the two point loss, and move on to the next round. So all in all, it, it just, it got to be a struggle and it almost became a little stressful trying to throw this bag like I wanted to. And it just, I don't know, I want I want to like this. I love the way it looks. I like the materials. I really, really wanted to like this bag. But all in all, I, I just didn't. It just didn't perform like I wanted it to. I actually threw this multiple times, thinking each time it was me. And by the fourth or fifth time, I was like, you know what? Maybe it's not me. Maybe it's just the bag. And so as much as I love WTF, I love what they're doing. I love their bags. The Lima is not a bag I would recommend to you guys. Availability in this bag, real quick, I talked about as well if you're interested. WTF does have these bags available on their website as of recording this video. Um, I think it's WTFCornhole.com. I'll, I'll put a link description to be sure I'm right there. The bags sell for $75 for a set of four of them. Very reasonable price, plus the shipping on top of that. Still very reasonable price for them. I do love WTF and a lot of their bags. Um, I, I, again, not sure Alima is where you want to start with them. I think they've got a lot of other great bags that I think you should start with, and I'll be bringing some more reviews. I did review the Tango. Love that one. I've got some more bags planned to review here coming up in 2023, so keep an eye out for those. I don't think the Lima is where I would recommend, at least for mine. It's not a great... I don't like the way it plays. I can't recommend it to you guys, um, but if you want to give it a shot, go for it. If you do like it, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you do like about it, because I would love to hear your feedback. Again, I'm okay if you disagree with me. I'm just giving you my opinions on the bag. If you don't agree with it, let me know. Maybe there's something I'm overlooking here. So, all in all, thank you guys so much for supporting. I thank you for watching. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last.